What's up everyone? Welcome to Tech Me Out. Today we're going to be taking a look at what is on my iPhone, the jailbreak edition. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you a few tweaks that I have installed, if not mostly all of them. Um, but I'm not going to demonstrate all of them, but I will at least show you all of them. But enough with the rambling, let's go ahead and get started. So first up and taking a look here at my lock screen, you'll see that I have a custom status bar at the top, which is complements the spring to my three. Um, so I was able to achieve that by just installing that and changing what I want up there. Also change the font face of the clock here with Bita font two and it's it's um the font face is Helvecta. And then I also installed a tweet called Forecast. It basically gives me the weather down here in the bottom left hand corner. Still taking a look down here at the bottom, you'll see I have a little circle there, something like touch ID and that's called BioLock. It gives you an animation when unlocking your phone. So basically as it's reading my fingerprint, you'll see an animation up there of it doing so and it also plays a little sound and has a nice little animation just to kind of make your device a little bit more unique to you and add that little touch of flair that shows everyone you're jailbroken. And these icons right here, this is with a tweet called Amber. So it does not theme all of your icons, but it does give you um, some very nice icons to use. And for the most part, like the main default icons are themed. It's just a couple of those third party icons, of course, that may not be themed that you'll have to deal with. Now, another tweak that I really enjoy on my phone is called Flux. So I can enable it by sliding up from the bottom here and I can tap this and it'll change the color of my screen. Screen. So it'll give me like a kind of a hue to what I'm looking at that way, especially at night or when my eyes are tired and I really don't feel like, you know, straining them or having them be strained and looking at my phone, I can turn on flux and it will let and it will let me adjust the color of things on my screen. So as you can see here, it kind of gives me this view and then I can adjust it here so that during the daytime, it looks like this or at night, it looks like that. So you can kind of get it more so to what is best for your eyes in terms of viewing your phone. And I really like that I can disable it and enable it from within here once I can get control center to respond. There we are. Now, as you saw, my control center is customized. So I do have certain icons in there and certain icons that are not in there. And that was done with Polis here. So Polis would let you adjust the configuration of what's shown down there. You can have two shelves um, in there. So if you want more than one shelf, which is what I currently have, and then it will appear down here in your control center. But um, it allows you to have all of these different toggles so you can quickly access them without having to go into the go without having to go into the specific application. I got tongue tied there. At this point, I really don't have anything else on my home screen and lock screen that I can think of to showcase for uh, tweaks that I have. So I'm just going to go ahead and hop into my settings and pop back here. And you'll see here within my settings, everything's organized. So I don't have a long list of applications or anything like that. Instead, they're broken down into folders. And this was done with organizer preferences or organized preferences or something like that. Because I can't remember the name right off, I will be putting it in this video of what I'm trying to say. But that allowed me to get these categorized folders here. So it breaks the applications and the tweaks down and puts it into the correct folder without me even having to do it. So all of this was done automatically on its own, which is... A bonus. What I'm going to focus on now is my tweaks folder here. So I'm going to let you see all of the tweaks I have installed. I have not reviewed all of them, but I will be reviewing more of these. So that's why I'm not going to show all of them. But at least if you're curious what tweaks I have installed, here's your answer. So of course, at the top of the list, activator, which gives you the custom gestures or custom actions via gestures and things like that. Also have app head. Now this one is pretty cool. I'm going to be probably doing a review of that, but it allows you to have something like, uh, let me enable it. I can show you better here. So you'll notice when I pop out of here and I hop into Amazon and I pop back on my home screen, I now have an app head for Amazon. So I can quickly get a preview of the application right there, or I can double tap it and it'll open the application or I can long press it and it'll close the application. So it just gives you app heads so that you can quickly get back and forth in applications that you have recently opened. But like I said, I'm gonna be doing a more in-depth review of that, just not in this video. So beneath app heads, I have Archer. This is nice for jumping in and out of your multitask real quick. Instead of having to double press the home button, you can use an activator method or a method set within here to go ahead and pull up your multitask switch or a close out of an application. I honestly had problems getting the gestures to work for 
some of it. So I'm still working on it, but you can check it out and see for yourself. Next up, I have ASOS. Um, I don't even remember what that one does. Uh, this locks out your applications. I think I had issues with that one, so I didn't really mess with it too much, nor did I delete it, but uh, it might have just been me. It might have been conflicting with another tweak or something on my phone. I also have Badgeomizer. It gives you custom badges. And then we have Bioprotect, which allows you to lock applications using your Touch ID. So... You don't have to type in a passcode to lock the apps. You can use your fingerprint as you do when you unlock your phone to also unlock your applications. Then I have Blord, which gives you the dark keyboard. Boot logo, which changes your boot logo. I also have boot sound, which gives you a sound when your phone is booting up. I have boot up, which I think, I don't even know honestly what this does. Oh, this allows you to do any of these actions from within here. So you don't have to search for a tweak or an app that lets you do it. This one will give it to you all within here. I also have Boxy, which puts your icons on your home screen in a box. Brightness activator, CC background gives you a custom background in your control center. And all of these here, I'm not going to go through all of them now that I see exactly how many I have, but I will highlight or a few of them that I'm enjoying. Groovy Lock gives you some nice lock screens. Home Screen Designer lets you customize your home screen a bit more and make it how you want it to be in terms of getting your icons where you want them to go. Um, multi icon mover is pretty nice. It lets you move more than one icon um, at a time. Pull to respring is one I really use a lot. So not only can I respring through my control center, but I can also respring in my settings by just sliding down from the main menu of my settings. Watchboard is pretty cool if you want to kind of get the layout of the Apple Watch on your iPhone. But that's really all I have installed. I actually want to clean this list up. So, uh, don't be surprised if some of these tweaks are not here again when I do another what's on my jailbreak video. But if you have any out of the list that I just showed you of tweaks that you really want to see me review, definitely drop it down below. Hopefully this video was helpful to you in terms of figuring out what tweaks I have installed or what tweaks you might want to check out. There are just so many that I just cannot, I do not want to even begin doing all of them in one video. I like doing the top 10 or just individual tweak reviews. But nonetheless, that is what is on my iPhone, the jailbreak edition. So I'm not talking about the apps I have installed. But if that's something you want to see, drop that down below as well. If you enjoyed this video, you already know what to do. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.